Hi guys, today's video is about Spring Boot, how to develop a simple rest, uh, REST web service APIs, right? Uh, this is a part of OIO OD trading uh, and we are going to create very simple Spring Boot type uh, REST API. Uh, if you are aware about the Spring Boot and all this thing, how to create a web service, then skip this chapter. Uh, you can move to the next chapter where we are going to consume this Spring Boot into OIO OD side. Uh, but if you want to create the simple REST API, uh, you can uh, stick along to see how we can do that. Uh, so first, uh, what we will do is we will open the website called start.spring.io. So you can see over here. Uh, so we will select the Maven project. We will select the Java. We will select 2.6.3. Okay. Uh, we can say Avaya OD. Okay and we can have the name also like that package name is okay we can have our OD over here uh, we want a war file uh, when it is deployed but right now it is not important so this is what the package name will look like we will add dependency first is our dev tool this is i like it quite good over here and another is yeah spring web this two is sufficient we'll click on generate and it will generate the uh, project zip file we will cut and we will paste it over here okay we will extract it okay so now what we will do is the so project is extracted i will copy and come to my Eclipse, I will file and do import. Existing Maven project is selected over there. I will just paste the content and it will start import. So meanwhile, it's importing the Maven project, right? Uh, what we have to do is also install relevant thing. Okay. Before we do that, okay, it's done already. You can see but move before moving over here uh, we will go back to our call flow uh, over here in the OD call flow right for the IVR we are asking date and we are asking the phone number right uh, no sorry employee ID employee number now uh, we want to validate that one, right uh, we are calling a web service over here for account or log and password reset now what we will do is create those things okay uh, so let's say first we will create a controller package it's not mandatory but uh, let's create controller and uh, we need a class right so what we are going to create as a class um, let's say let's give the name like uh, web service yeah. something like that okay so we will give the web service as a name okay now we have the class over here created right now we know that this is going to be our web service right so rest web service so we will use the rest controller okay rest controller is added over here now what we want is for uh, account on log rights let's say um let's say keep it as a white right now and what is a validate uh, it will be validated let's say we name account unlock details something like that okay uh, this is a name we have given and what exactly we want so first of all this will be a get mapping right so we want get mapping so let's say give give path like the uh, account unlock okay now we are going to fetch two parameters right uh, one is date of birth okay so what we will do is we need a parameters so request param okay 
so what it takes it takes value as name and what is the name we are giving dob okay do we require it yes it is required parameter right and what is the default value we will keep it as null okay and so it will be a string as a string right we will not emphasize more on that another also we require same thing correct uh, so we will just copy paste to save time okay so this time did i put comma over there no so with comma over there okay now we required emp id right that is what we have given over there let's see oh amp number right emp number and this will be dob okay uh, and this will be emp number right now this two parameters we have got right now what we required is let's say return let's say okay for just for the testing right now let's change the return type to string so whenever we get the message we will return the okay over here okay let's see if it is working or not so what we will do is we will start the tomcat so spring boot app we will select over there and hopefully it will start spinning all this thing and we have tomcat starting okay so now the tomcat has started so now let's go to localhost 8080 it started right tomcat uh, yeah started okay and what is the path we were using account on log okay now once we do that right we get okay directly So this is working fine now we will stop it now what we want is to validate uh, and we want to get the json as a response right so what we will do is we will require the json object let's say response object equal to new json object do we have json no it's not there so we need the json object over here uh, so what we will do is simple yeah json object maven dependency is there we'll go and we will get the maven dependency we click on pom.xml i hope i'm not going too fast over here you guys are following me so delete let's say this one okay so what it will do it will download that necessary jar file for us so once this is downloaded right what we can do is okay so it's downloaded we will go back to our web service and we'll do control c oh and it's done now what we want to do is uh, let's say if specific parameter we received we return as uh, true or otherwise we will return as false something like that right so let's say if uh, what is that uh, dob equal ignore case oops equal ignore case let's say it is value of 2211190 okay and emp number 
equal ignore case let's say if it is one 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 okay so we are just since this is just for our testing in the IVR uh, we are not going to make it more complex you can add more logic you can call another web service from here and based on that you can provide the response we are not going to do that complication over here so let's say if result equal to this one so we'll put response as what is that compute uh result okay and comma true and similarly return will be if this parameter does not match it will be a false we will return response object and let's change the return object to equal to true okay uh yeah all done so let's start the tomcat again Meanwhile, it's starting up. Let's add the parameters. Question mark. This will be DOB. And this will be employee number. Okay. And what is the parameter? 22, 1190, and 1111. Top get started yeah so if you see over here uh, we got the result equal to true since we match this one so if i change the value to one to let's see then you're getting a false right and if it didn't match the exact one then we're getting this one so this is one of the web services we will now move on to the another web service uh, of password reset right so what we will do is just copy whole thing Add over here password reset okay over here again we are collecting all this value now in this what we will do is we will generate the temporary password right uh, validate I'll just put return password reset okay so now what we will do is go to google as always uh, java string random generator okay and from here we will see what exactly is here byte of seven they didn't like that one yeah let's use what is this uh, using okay I like this one okay so let's go back over here uh, just an object will go down so we put this thing we do control shift o now this will have your 10th length so let's reduce this to 5 okay and what we will do is return the response as this one okay so let's start the one this one okay so over here again we are uh, asking for the same parameter uh, and but over here for the password reset it will return you uh, randomly generated uh, password of character five character i think yeah five character we have given over here okay so the tomcat has started we will go back to our this one so if i do this one is still returning true i will just copy the password reset over here and paste it so if you see over here we got the password as this one again we got from this one 
so as long as we are hitting over here it will keep generating the new password okay so yes this was the small uh, how to create a web service using spring boot in a nutshell uh, this is specifically for our iod <laughs> again i am training saying for our tutorials that we are going on uh, if you want to learn more advanced about the web services there are many tutorials available in the market in the youtube or in the market uh, as always uh, give a thumbs up or like uh, if you have any comment put the in the comment section and do like and subscribe thank you